In late December 2022, incoming Majority Leader Steve Scalise, Arla, pledged that in the first two weeks of the House Republican majority, the conference would pass 11, ready to go, bills that would contribute to, making our ambitious agenda a reality. While House Republicans eventually passed eight of those proposals, and a handful of other partisan measures, their agenda never fully materialized. None of the proposals they tout as, promises kept, were among the 29 bills signed into law by President Biden last year, making this House Republican majority complicit in the most ineffective year for Congress in decades. Last year's track record was no surprise for House Republicans, who point to deep personal tensions, profound ideological differences and a hard right wing willing to disrupt government functions as reasons their fractious conference has struggled to govern. And they remain skeptical that they can achieve their agenda in 2024 as tensions linger following the ouster of former Speaker Kevin McCarthy, our caliph which kept the House at a standstill for three weeks, delayed consideration of critical funding bills and caused even their own constituents to wonder whether Republicans could handle the basic task of governance. It's been a tough year for us, said Rep. Richard Hudson, RNC, who is the chairman of the National Republican Congressional Committee, NRCC, is tasked with keeping the majority. I think most people in Congress, Republicans and Democrats, ran to make a difference, to make the country better, not to come up here and have these kinds of disagreements. So it is frustrating, and it's tiring. Many Republicans hope the new year brings with it a broad desire to govern and, in turn, prove to the public that they deserve another term in control of the House. But the question of how Republicans across the ideological spectrum define success is already primed to plague the conference as it starts the year with just three votes to spare to pass anything through its fragile majority. The test starts imminently, with several must-address priorities looming before April including two government funding deadlines, possible supplemental funding for foreign democracies paired with border security provisions, and reauthorization of the Federal Aviation Administration and the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. Whether the government continues to operate uninterrupted will ultimately be determined by Speaker Mike Johnson, Arla who must again decide whether to lean on Democrats to pass bipartisan proposals or reject compromise in an effort to appease his hard right flank. We have to start governing. Ellipsis. Playing politics with every single issue is not helpful, said Rep. David G. Valadeo, our caliph, who represents a swing district. We need to get to the point where we can start passing legislation and getting something to the president's desk that actually solves problems for the American people.